Welcome back to Solarix. Every time I jump back into this game, it's just a question of what is going to break next. So here's the newest thing that happened. I loaded up the game, and for some reason it wasn't running at the resolution that it was running at before. Before it was running at 1080p, this time it wasn't. So I went and I checked the video options, and to my surprise, it was actually set to 1080p, just as it is now. So it was set to 1080p, but it wasn't actually running at 1080p. So I'm like, uh, okay, that's weird. I haven't changed anything since I shut down the game. And according to Steam, there hasn't been a patch. So I don't know what the heck happened. So I just switched the resolution to something lower and pressed apply. It didn't do anything. Then I switched it back up to 1080p. And once again, pressed apply. It also didn't do anything. So it said it was running at 1080p, but it wasn't. And any time I tried to switch the resolution to something else, it wouldn't actually do it. So that was interesting. I ended up having to restore to default. And then it actually started working. Same thing with the controls, too. The controls, even after resetting everything to the default, back here, it left the controls on this list. It, it said the controls were just as I had set them before, where I reassigned a jump to space instead of Z or whatever it was before. So it said that my controls were still left there, but they didn't actually work. The controls had actually been reset to the original. So I just had to restore these to default, which is apparently a separate button from this restore to default, I guess. And then set them again, and now everything works? I... <laughs> I don't even know. Whatever. Let's... <laughs> let's go to the maintenance substation and see what breaks next. <gasps> Alright, so I gotta remember the low gravity is disabled, so I can't jump over them like some crazy space pole vaulter. It's okay. I'm not really worried about them. Quick, look behind you! I think it hurt me. Whatever. Run! Leg it. Oh shit. Alright, I'm dead. Oh god, the save is from... Oh, He's gonna dump all sorts of exposition on my face. Walter, but not as long as you think. <sighs> and for far longer than you understand. You are an undeclared piece. A borrowed tool. If you'd like answers... You'll find nothing. But there are solutions if you're strong enough to wield them. Each area of this ship is locked off as a safety measure. MI cannot disable these measures, and as a result, neither can I. But I can give you access to the maintenance substation, and from there, you will disable these measures for me. And you will. It is the only way you can progress, and the only way you can confront me directly. Okay, we're good. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I think it reset the subtitles, didn't it? Let's put those back on. Where are they? Video? No, they can't be under video. Wait, where are they? Am I blind? Wait, what? Where? Am I... Am I missing something? Where's the subtitles option? Or is there no option and they're always just subtitles? But where are the subtitles? Oh, three. 11, 22 hours, UTC. There's, there's no subtitles. I'm so confused. There isn't an option for them, right? Not here. No. Video. No. Game. No. What? Okay. The removal of the eye. 
2143. Glitch disables Amy for 7 hours 23 minutes. Ship wide suffocation and blackout. One dead. Mark Cherry. 2149. Timothy Bowman diagnosed with schizophrenia after 96 logged hours with the eye. Put in stasis with T. 2151. Massive data loss. Recovered through Amy's backups. 2156. Second massive data loss. Backups insufficient. Ten years of scientific observation. Wiped out. 2156. Surface colony quarantined due to the infectious disease. Three dead. Jeffrey Abler. Bernard Ross. Omar Marth. 2159. Roger Spine. Diagnosed with dementia after 108 logged hours with the eye. Put in stasis with T and B. 2160. Alicia Kitchens, diagnosed with drowsiness and insomnia after 72 hours logged with the eye, continues to work. 2160, 0303, 11, 22 hours, UTC. The removal of the eye. 2143. Alright, now it's Glitch starting to loop. Seven. Yeah, just describing the, uh, the major events related to eye. Creepy thing, the eye. Also, what the heck is that? You okay out there? Kind of worried for him. Oh god. I wonder if that thing can hear me, or if it's just like a camera butt. Is it just a camera? Sure seems like it's attracted to me. To my scent, or my... My sounds. Maybe it smells me. Actually, that's kind of unlikely, because I do have a spacesuit on. Okay, well, let's try this. <laughs> that thing's kind of cute. Oh, look at it. It's like a little bug camera laser thing. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. How fast is it? Is it fast enough to catch up? Please don't be fast enough to catch up! Shit. Please don't save me. Please don't save me. Get stuck. That's actually really bad. Whew. Yeah, it's like a floating, like, floating security scarab. It's pretty cool. I like it. I think it heard me. I better go. I have pondered your species' impotence during my rare periods of lucidity. You are trapped by an erotic obsession with history and tradition. You regress to a primitive state at the slightest provocation. At the slightest hint that the future possesses an issue to be resolved. 
You hate puzzles. I don't really agree with quite a few things that it just said. The human species hate pu hates puzzles. You sure about that? I don't think that's true. The hell is that noise? It's not gonna like close behind me, is it? Looks kind of like a thing that clo I don't I don't think it's a thing that closes. Never mind. It's not that fancy of a spaceship. Let it go past, sneak in behind it. Or is it just going to go back the way it came? Nope, it's coming. Oh, okay. Well, I'm dead. How did it see me? I mean, I was crouched. I don't think it could have heard me. Jesus, that's loud. But not as long as you think, and for far longer than you understand. You are an undeclared piece, a borrowed tool. If you'd like answers, you'll find nothing. But there are solutions if you're strong enough to win them. Each area of this ship is locked off as a safety measure. I think it hurt me. I cannot disable these measures, and as a result, neither can I. But I can give you access to the maintenance substation, and from there, you will disable these measures for me. And you will. It is the only way you can progress, and the only way you can confront me directly. Okay. Let's stay crouched. Throw a motherboard at his face if I need to. Alright, that lift can be my quick escape. Is this just a loop? Mm hmm. Alright, let's attract it over here. Yeah, come this way. That way, I can sneak around the back. Actually, that's a bad idea, because it's going to keep coming, and it's going to trap me, and I'm not going to be able to get on the lift, so screw it. Let's go. It's like I pretty much need to crouch everywhere at this point. There we go. Sorry about that. Had to deal with something for a minute. Anyway, where was I? What the heck is that noise? It's hard to tell what is ambient and what is something that's just around the corner. Ooh, 
Megalodon access. I've opened up the ship, and if you feel you are powerful enough, you may certainly attempt to destroy me. I welcome it. Megalodon access granted. Well, there we go. From Amy to me. Pressing circumstances. Hello, Walter. When I so facetiously described our situation as a river of excrement, the analogy perhaps understated the seriousness of the issue. <laughs> you have only experienced one month within the Solarix mission colony, but you have no doubt been acquainted with many of Solarix's other employees and personnel. They're dead. All of them. I'm sorry. The infection appeared appeared to have originated as a mild fever that proved to be abnormally contagious. I surmise that the symptoms of such a fever were specifically intended to allow for the infiltration of a much deadlier and more pronounced infection, which has killed 348 of our 400 personnel. 87%. The 52 survivors include you, Gregory Hart, and the mercenary contingent under Hart's employ. With urgent regret, Amy. Yeah, symptoms of such a fever were specifically intended to allow for the infiltration of a much deadlier and more pronounced infection. That does make sense, because I was wondering why... You know, the infection, I remember seeing some logs that mentioned that the symptoms of it are just like a, you know, cough, fever, kind of... Pretty similar stuff to like a cold or a flu or something. Which seemed vastly too mild to cause the things that I've seen. And also too much of a coincidence to not be related to... I. And indeed, I think it is related. It was sort of a, perhaps a weakening of our immune systems, or perhaps some sort of a, a vector for something much deadlier. Anyway, so is that it? Huh. That's weird. That's weird, it looks like I can just go to the Megalodon, because it's unlocked, but it also says I should disable the whole integrity measures inside of the maintenance substation, which is where I'm in right now. So should I just proceed to the Megalodon, or should I shut down the security measures? Oh, the airlock between ships has been shut down, so I have to disable it to actually be able to go. But wait, if it just said I just gained access to the Megalodon, then doesn't that imply that the airlock has been unshut down? What? I'm so confused. Is what I just did the thing I needed to do to disable the whole integrity measures? And it just didn't update? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I do know that there's at least one place that I missed, though. I'm gonna need this. No. Shit. Are you kidding me? I can't throw it over the guardrails because there's an invisible wall. Great. Go that way. Run! See if I can sneak in behind it. See if it follows me up here. Oh. Oh, it does. Okay. Balls. Don't come this way, don't come this way, don't come this way. God damn it. Come on. It's 
just going off and doing its own thing. It's not even returning to its patrol place. It doesn't even care. Oh, I think it just turned. Yeah, I think it just turned. Let's keep going. Oh, there's nothing here? Oh, wait. Hel oh, health packs! I love health packs! Oh, they're so much fun. What I love most about health packs is how they mess up your inventory. I could use them, though, so let's do that. Uh, why did that just change color? It was red, now it's orange. Oh, okay. I think I just need to get the hell out of here. I'm really paranoid about where the other one might be, though. It's still over here. It must still be over here. Let's crouch. It might be right around the corner. Did it just self destruct or something? Like, what happened to it? Okay. I guess I'm done here? Wait, what? Oh. Do 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 All right, this is not going to be fun. Don't have a lot of room to maneuver back here to get out of this thing's way. Uh, how far does it come? Okay. I don't think I have time to get... Do I mm. Fuck! God damn it, where's my last save? Come on. Come on, if this is really far back, I'm gonna be so pissed. Long time, Walter. But not as long as you think, and for far longer than you understand. Is this you before, after, uh... A borrowed tool. If you'd like answers, you'll find nothing. There are solutions, if you're strong enough to wield them. Okay, I guess it's right after I did this. This ship is locked off as a safety measure, and I cannot disable okay. these measures, and as a result, neither can I. But I can give you access to the maintenance substation, and from there, you will disable these measures for me. And you will. I'm running. It is the only way you can progress. And the only way you can confront me directly. Get out of the way. Is there something in here? Secrets? Bah. No secrets. Yeah, these things are really cool looking. But they're very, very annoying.
turning off my light might be a good idea. Oh my god, this is so slow. Come on. This is actually kind of dangerous. I'm going so freaking slow it's going to turn around before I... Yep. Alright, hold on. It's going to be fine. There we go. There we go. There we go. I just need to go hide in this corner. Okay. Whew, we're good. We're good. Just got to wait for it to go by. Do my little dance. Run! There's, yeah, there's the Megalodon entrance over there. Those things look like they're sliding on the ground more than they look like they're walking. I'm gonna take this really easy because I'm pretty sure there still has not been a save point. Don't want to risk having all my progress reset. Watch, I'm gonna get here and it's gonna be like, you still need to go to the sub, the subway access station. The Quiznos access station. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're good. <sighs> there is no free will. There is only progression or the illusion therein. Um. Where did I come from? I was going down a hallway, then there was a loading screen, and the way back is just... just like a capped off end of a hallway. Where, where did I come from? Shouldn't this be a doorway? That's not a doorway. What? He's playing with you. You know that, right? You're a chew toy. He's got control of the ship. I really want a weapon. What the heck is that thing? Is that a weapon? So I need to do something with my suit to gain access. Deactivate autopilot procedures. Um, alien machine is going to send the ship to Earth, a gift to infect civilization itself. <laughs> of course. Of course, what would it want to do other than go to Earth? That is... That's kind of... I, I don't want to spoil anything, but that kind of reminds me of System Shock. I, yeah, yeah, I won't say any more about that. The infectional drive is mad and destroy us, I have to stop it. Oh, to bypass security, I need to find a soldier suit that has clearance to other parts of the ship. Can be in crew quarters. Okay. Well, 
Well, on the bright side, at least I actually get 60 FPS in here. My mo-cap friends? Got those glowing balls on you to capture the motion data? Got the spotlights on you, make sure everything's illuminated. <laughs> Access guard, of course. Uh, what? Okay. Oh god, they can hit over boxes! Stop beating me up! Fucking bullies! Beating up the poor kid with no weapons in the corner. Shame on them. see me in the light. Oh, okay. I'm just not gonna get stuck in a corner. It'll be fine. They don't do much damage. Although, they're really, really fast. Oh god, they're on here with me! Get off! Fucking dicks! I'm not actually entirely sure what I can do. I can't shoot at the lights. I don't have any weapons. Well, that's what that sound was. It was the door being, like, punched in. Alright, check out my light meter. Make sure I only go into the light when they're not looking. Well, it's hard, because it looks like there's always one kind of looking this way. Oh my god, I'm so gonna get seen, I'm so gonna get seen. Okay, I'm in the dark, I'm in the dark. I'm in the dark. Technically. Oh, fuck, where do I go from here? Nothing in there. Oh, here we go. This is much better. Much, much, much better. Maybe I can turn off the generator, too. God, I'm kind of in the light. Don't see me, don't see me. Okay. Okay, that was actually pretty tense. Being without any weapons is actually making this pretty intense. This is one of the first stealth sections that actually feels kind of nail-biting. I'm gonna stay right here. Oh wait, 
Oh, I think I do. There's another node. It doesn't doesn't turn straight around. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, I see computers. I see control panels. It's a good sign. I can do stuff. I like doing stuff. Doing stuff is good. Doing stuff is progress. Progress is good. Can I uncrouch now? Should be okay. Ah, there we go. Science. That is science. Pretty lights. Well, that's not to a crap ton of people. From something bright and... to a bunch of people. Timeline chronology correction. Holy crap, that is long. I don't know if I feel like reading the whole thing, but let's see what this is about at least. Hey, I've been trying to collect the events timeline for future reference. Any help to fill the gaps? This is for archive purposes internally only, so keep it undisclosed. Okay. Actually, you know what? This is interesting. This is actually about the whole origin of Solarix and like this entire research colony project or whatever this is. So let's actually read this. So 2100, that's uh, about 66 years ago, I think. During the Solarix Meeting of the Future Conference, a serious case is made for the exploration of the habitable, habitable planet Ansira, orbiting Tau Ceti. 2110, construction of the convoy begins. So they made the ISS Megalodon and its smaller cousin, the IRS Remora. Okay. Due to massive computing restraints, a sophisticated artificial intelligence program is put into development, Amy. 2125, Ansira mission officially announced to public. Negative reaction? Really? I wonder why they had a negative reaction. Maybe because of the just all the money being spent on it? Maybe they thought it was a waste of money? Unnamed terrorists failed to destroy the incomplete convoy. Wow. So they're actually trying to sabotage the mission. Public reception poll indicates a strong shift towards support. The majority of crew recruited mainly young postgrad students. Amy completed an operational. Okay. So Amy was in development for from 2110 to 2127. So that was 17 years to make Amy. That's a long time. Convoy construction completed. Convoy disembarked. Started heading towards Ansira at 2128. Crew put in stasis, Amy pilots. 2141, convoy hits Tau Ceti system. Okay, so that was 13 years to get there. Ansira mission begins. Okay, so they got here about 25 years ago, because I think the current year is around 20... Uh, 2166, I think. So about 25 years since they got here. Surface colony operational after a couple years. Initial mineshaft fully developed within a couple months. The eye was uncovered within about four months after the first mineshaft was fully developed. Three months later, I transferred to the Megalodon, inert. Then, about a month later, the first glitch from the eye affected Amy. Nearly destroyed the Megalodon. And then six years later, the eye broadcast a message of peace for 2.8 seconds. And then a year and seven days later, all servers were wiped. Nearly a decade's worth of data gone. Amy managed to recover from a backup. Set back two years, but not ten. First transmission from Ansira reaches Earth. Much rejoicing. 2153. Gregory Hart's team departs from Earth to join the mission. 2153. Oh, so Gregory Hart was actually a new addition. He wasn't on the original team. Okay. 2156. The eye is active for 0 0.3 seconds. Says is. So at this point it said peace and then is. And then I think later it says futile. 
All servers wiped again. Backups wiped too. Systems harmed. Jesus. Amy recovers the procedural systems, not the data. Back to square one. Yeah, 2156. That's when the infection hit. Quarantine and contained. 18 people die. Amy's blamed for the inefficiency, given less control. Hmm. So that was the initial infection, the one that somehow didn't turn horribly viral. I mean, 18 people died, so that's obviously very bad, given that that's actually a pretty large amount of the total crew. But it's not really nearly as bad as it is now. And it says Amy was blamed for the inefficiency and given less control. So perhaps that was like a pilot program by I. Maybe it needed Amy to have less control so that it could do more itself. And it did that, perhaps in a calculated attempt to lessen Amy's control, to weaken her. And four years later, the eye broadcasts futile. Yep. 2160, the sisters may jettison the eye or keep it. They keep it. Five years after, Gregory Hart's team arrives. Unwelcoming reception. Then about a year after that, the infection hits the ship. Response is slow, quarantine ineffective, and that is what we have now. 94% of crew deceased in 2166. Okay, that number is a little bit different from what Amy told me. I think Amy told me like 87% was deceased, but this might be a more up-to-date figure. I'm not sure. That was actually interesting. I was expecting that to be really boring, but that was actually interesting. From Amy to me, crucial matters to be rectified. Despite the fact that I doubt such an infection would seriously threaten the survival of the human species, I fear that should it reach Earth, it would be responsible for a pandemic on a comparable scale to the Spanish flu of the 20th century. The medical infrastructure on Earth is likely inefficient to cope with such an efficient and unpredictable outbreak without widespread death, particularly in high-density population centers such as the countries of India and South Africa. It would be very bad. Many people would die. With this assessment in mind, eight hours ago I explicitly ordered the postponement of the mission's annual shuttle to Earth, in fear that the personnel and equipment on board may carry fatal traces of infection. However, since the limitations of my jurisdiction prevent me from actually shutting down the hangar and the light speed accelerators, the shuttle departed on schedule against my orders. If I were human, I would, in a matter in a manner so paranoid as to draw the jealousy of Gregory Hart, suppose that an insidious force has taken advantage of the chaos for expressly malignant reasons. Ah It sounds like I may have been right, thinking that uh, perhaps the initial infection that did kill quite a bit of people but was contained. And the fact that, that led to Amy having her her grip and control lessened may have been a calculated move by I. Hmm. Additional cause for concern lies in what I believe was a deliberate malfunction of the our communication system, <laughs> as well as auxiliary components, such as the radio transmitter and backup generators, which has prevented me from contacting the rogue shuttle, rogue shuttle without the aid of a third party. The aid I receive from a third party must necessarily come from you. We will have to work together to rectify the situation. You haven't read any of this, have you? Uh, wait, what? Yes, I have. Why, why would Amy say that? You haven't read any of this, have you? That's kind of a weird thing to say. Hmm. This is an automated message, do not reply. Blah, blah, blah. What a curious message. It seems bizarre. When I look at it abstractly, what an odd sensation. I have never questioned my role here in such a manner. This is curious indeed. Thank you. What? Is that added on to the message, or is that like a reply to the message? I, I don't know who's talking there. It's obviously anomalous. Because that does not match what's above at all. Weird. 
Okay, so there is a shuttle heading to Earth. So even if I'm able to stop the infection and stop I here, that ship may very well make it all the way to Earth and carry the infection with it. It may very well carry a piece of I. It might not even matter what I do here. He might actually be right. This eye and this infection is the sort of thing that's so damn dangerous, it might be better just to blow everything up. Blow up the planet, blow up the ships, don't let it anywhere near Earth. Ooh, pretty. I'm going to go until the next save point, which is probably going to be when I use my security card to get into the crew quarters. Please get into the dark. Please get into the dark. Please get into the dark. Whew. Just in time. Okay, go up, go up, go up, go up. <laughs> There's nothing I can really do to prevent that. I'm in the light. I can't, I can't do anything to stop it. Uh. All right, is he still freaking out? What's What's he doing? Let's try again. Uh. Okay, this is. Oh fuck. Okay, I'm. Oh fuck. I'm caught on the lip. Ah, oh, Shit, what do I do? I could press the button. He's gonna come up. He's gonna attack me. I could run. They're gonna catch me. Shit! I don't think there's any way out of this. Fuck. Um. I could press this button, try to run away from him, get him off the elevator, and then get back onto the elevator and activate it again? <laughs> Jesus Christ. If only I could crouch. I can't crouch. If I could crouch, maybe they'd ignore me. Because they wouldn't be able to see me anymore. Um. Actually, if I press the elevator, you might get stuck up there. You might not come up onto the lip. Let's see what happens. Uh, I can't even use it. It highlights, but I can't actually use it from this far. Fuck! Oh my god. That AI. That pathfinding. I don't know what to do. I could maybe get on top of that box and maybe they wouldn't be able to attack me there. Maybe? I know they can attack- no, I think they would just get onto the box. Because I know they got on boxes before. I'm gonna try. 
Oh, now I'm just fucking stuck. Bye! Alright, cleared him out. Cool. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, fuck this! Save! Where was my last save? Do I have the... Is this from before... Is this from before I got the keycard? I'm just going to end this episode here before I become too frustrated. I've had enough Solarix for one day. There's only so much you can take. Gotta pace myself. Alright. I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon to see what breaks next.